Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I am so excited that you are here. Today's video is another collaboration with some girls on YouTube. I will leave their videos linked below as well as their social media, so please check them out. We decided to do an amethyst themed makeup look today. If you did not know, Amethyst is the February birthstone, so that is where our inspiration came from. I got my inspiration from some pictures online, so that is what I have been going off of. A little bit of light, a little bit of dark, a little bit of sparkle. So this is what I came up with. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. All right guys, so we are jumping right in with the eyes. I have primed my lids with some concealer and then set it with a translucent powder. So I pulled out a bunch of different palettes today. I'm trying to do like an amethyst look. So the first thing that I am using is the Shanixo, the Remix palette, and I am gonna go in with a Morphe M511 and this shade here. And I'm just gonna put that in the crease. I just want to lay down a little bit of color before I go in with my purples. Now I'm going to go in with the James Charles palette. I am going to take a Morphe M433 in this shade here and I'm going to pack that on my lid. I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette with a Morphe M513 and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm going to blend that up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now that the purple on our lids is nice and opaque and blended, I'm gonna go in with some concealer and a very small brush. This is the Morphe 213 and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. So for my shape today, I want to do like a little bit of a cut crease, but I kinda wanna make it jagged like an amethyst a raw amethyst is so I'm kind of gonna like flick it out a little bit we'll see how it goes and I am gonna wipe the brush off before I dip back into more concealer like that a little bit. I'm just gonna go in really quickly with some of that dark purple on a small pencil brush and I'm gonna clean up the line and just blend it just a little. And notice I have not set my lid yet. I kind of want these colors to be opaque. Normally I would set my lid but I'm gonna see how it goes without setting it. I am going to take the first shade from the Shanix O palette and I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lid. And then I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this clarity color on the same brush and I'm just gonna put that like right at the inner corner just because there is like some white in an amethyst. bit of white going on and then I'm gonna grab that same purple shade blend that in a little bit and then again with that pencil brush and the dark purple shade and I'm just gonna blend along that crease a little bit on the same brush I'm just gonna go in with that purple shade from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna put that in the middle 
Don't forget to blend the colors. Again with that dark shade. And then on the same pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with that dark shade on the outer edge. Blend those together. And then with that same brush, shade it into those spikes. All right, so the biggest tip I can tell you is just keep working with it. Go back and forth between all the colors and kind of try to blend them in. Ooh, amethysty! I am gonna go in on the wing part of it. I am using my NYX Glitter Primer first. So instead of the pigment, because that ruined, basically ruined it, that's fine, I'll do it better on the other eye. Um, I use this NYX Glitter in Beauty Bean. And that's how it came out. I am gonna go ahead and do that to the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the other eye and the rest of my face. I did kind of change the shape of the sparkle a little bit to just kind of be a point. Um, I wasn't feeling what I had going on, so I just kind of changed it and adjusted it, and I think it looks really cool. I'm excited. So now we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna line my waterline with this NYX Slide On Glide On Eye Pencil in Purple Haze. And I'm gonna go in. My waterline and a little into the lash line. Then I'm gonna take that dark purple shade from the James Charles palette on a Morphe M432, just a flat brush, and I'm gonna push that dark color up against my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take this Luxie 141 and the purple shade from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm gonna blend a little. And then with a BH Cosmetics small crease brush, I'm gonna go into that light purple shade from the Shanxo palette and I am going to blend. Then with a E36, a very small pencil brush, I'm gonna go into this shade from the James Charles palette. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. And then I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with Jeffree Star Sarcophagus. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and I am also using Lily Lashes in the style Miami. And I'm gonna go do that. All right guys, so our lashes are on and now I am just really loving the sparkly on the outside because usually I do it on the inside. So it's kind of the opposite there and the ombre on the lid, very amethyst, very amethyst. So we're just gonna finish off the look by doing the lips. I scoured my collection for some sort of purple lip and this is what I came up with. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Shameless. Hopefully this is a good shade for the colors that I got going on here. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Woo! That lip color. I don't know, I mean, obviously it's dramatic, but I don't hate it. Especially for a amethyst inspired makeup tutorial, I think that this is pretty cute. I'm actually very happy with the way that it turned out. I wasn't really sure when I had to change like the shape of the glitter or how it was gonna end up, and I actually really like it. So, definitely make sure to check out the other girls in the collaboration below. I will leave their Instagram and their video on YouTube, so definitely check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. Toddy bye.